Hello and welcome to the next instalment of What Happens in the Neighbourhood. As every week, I'm here with my very good friend Patience. Patience, how are you doing? I am doing good, thank you. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, not so bad, not so bad. We are well into July now. It's my birthday in a couple of days. I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, Maybe if anyone's (laughs) listening, if you want to send in some money or gifts, (laughs) feel free to. (laughs) No, I'm only joking. I knew that was going to come in, like, if anyone wants to send me a present, you know, feel free. <laughs> yeah, feel free. Uh, as I say, I do accept any any present, any shape, so yeah, send it in. <laughs> in form of currency. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to, Patience? Did you have a good weekend? Uh, I did, actually. It was, um, it, was a bit, it was a bit gloomy, but it was pretty chill. Didn't do, like, a lot, to be honest. Um, okay. Oh, I tried this new ramen place in... I forgot where it is again, but it's um like you see, do you know when you go to a ramen place and you see them making the food right in front of your face? Oh yeah. And yeah, it was one of those and it was so good. But I had like a seafood ramen kind of thing. And it was I'm still thinking about it. That's how good it was. <laughs> oh nice. Nice. Cause I know with seafood it can be a bit of a lottery. Mm, yeah, mm. but this was like um, this, it was like mussels um with uh, I think a bit of fish cake in there as well, with some prawns and really great broth as well that was like well seasoned, and and we had this like fried corn thing that was like crunchy on the outside as a like star, and then mm. on the inside it was so nice and it was I like spicy food anyway so it was it was yummy I wow. loved it. Wow. And can you remember the name of the place at all? Um, Give me one second. I need to go back and look on my, because <laughs> I've recorded myself there. It's called um, Everyday People. Everyday People. And a great name as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It was like, oh my gosh. So you was out eating. I went out to a gig. I saw a band called The Human League who are Ooh. an old 1980s band. They do like electro stuff, you know, a lot of stuff mm-hmm. for the keyboards. They were very fun and they played in Kew Gardens. And yeah, it was a very fun evening out. And they did that song, Don't You Want Me Baby. Do you know that? Oh yeah, Don't You Want Me Want Baby. Me? Yeah. yeah, I can't think, but I know, I know which one you mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was very fun. So I saw them. That's that's a good weekend. Sounds like it's a, a very weekend, yeah. Away from the desk. Away from the desk. Them. That's it. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Moving on today, I thought we would talk about DIY. Do it yourself. Patience, first of all, are you any good at DIY? I like to think I am. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's that means no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? No for no. I'm I am terrible at it. But I was thought I thought we'd talk about it because it is a large part of the app. If you are looking to get your house done up, then yeah. there are quite a few DIY experts on the Hikinjo app who are willing to help you out in your area. And it's always handy to know a handy man or handy woman in your area if you yeah. are like me and you can't do these types of things because you've wasted your youth on video mm-hmm. games and films and music and you haven't spent time learning the important things in life like how to change a light bulb, that type of thing. So, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's a very basic skill to have. Even I know how to change a light bulb. No, I'm look. I know how to change a light bulb. Why? Right. That was a bit. Sure? That was that was just me being dramatic. I can do that. Are you least. sure? It sounds like you don't. <laughs> no, I absolutely can. I feel like just proving this to you all now by taking a picture of me changing a light bulb. But I yeah, can you should do, do that. <laughs> I can do it. hundred percent. Things I can't do. Well, here I, I've done a bit of research, and here is a list of basic DIY skills that. Apparently, mm. everybody should know. Okay. <clears throat> so, you're ready. So, wire in a plug. Do you know how to do that? What? Why, wait, why would I learn how to wire a plug? So, say if, I don't know, your uh, iron breaks down, it could just be that yeah. your the, the vault thing has gone in the plug 
I don't know the correct terms, but yeah, a lot mm -hmm. of people know how to change the uh, change plugs apparently. Okay, I think it's something I can learn if I know if someone someone showed me how to, but it's like is is it when you connect the wires to the plug? Yeah, like the earth and the other one and the brown one. <laughs> I'm like, not you know, like the red one and the blue one. The red one, the blue one, yeah. On yeah. that note, if anyone needs us to dispose of a bomb, do not call us because no. we lazily <laughs> cut the wrong wire. I uh, that's a that's a no for me as well. I do not know how to wire a plug. Second no, one no, is wire a light switch no that's definitely a no from me yeah that's a no yeah yeah, yeah wow we're getting really technical now painting a room <laughs> paint it can you paint your room paint any... yes i can yeah. yes yes see i can do that fix a leaking tap no i can try oh. but... <laughs> see i know how to do this and the only reason is when i did my work experience i believe this or not I worked with a plumber for two weeks. Right. Well, I don't see you doing that. <laughs> I know. I was 14 years old, but one of the things I learned was how to fix a leaking tap. It's usually the washer oh. just needs changing. Quite yeah. a simple thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Changing okay. a light bulb. So mm -hmm. we've, we've realized that we can both do that, I think. Clear a blocked drain. I mean, it depends on how you want me to do it, but I can do it. Yeah, I think I can do it as well. Not a nice job, but some have got no, to do it. No, it's very um, disgusting. It is, isn't it? Yeah, you definitely need yeah. a shower after you've done it, you know. Yeah. yeah a like, shower and a cry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, use an electric drill. No, I've not learned how to do that. Because, you know, I'm like one of those people that have those intrusive thoughts, but sometimes I want to act on them, and I don't think... That's a scary okay. thought. So you sometimes you have an impulse to use an electric drill. No, like it's not that. It's like do you know? I just imagine myself if I had one, I'll probably want to like just drill in like many holes just for no reason. <laughs> just in the street, just randomly, just drilling things. Just doing it. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> just... <laughs> okay. I think you'll go mad with the power. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Next one is. Now I've never heard this term. Uh, mm -hmm. Use use a cork gun. Mm. That's spelled C A U L K. I'm just going to quickly look what that is. C A U L K. Mm -hmm. I don't. I have no idea what that is. So that's enough for me. Um. Okay. It's a material used to seal joints or seams. Oh. Okay. One of those things. No, I've never done that. Use a spirit level. Have you ever done that? Use what? A spirit level. So those are those, it's kind of like a ruler, but it's got in the middle of it, it's got like a, what would you call it? Like a gorge and it tells you whether something is straight or not if you're trying to put up a picture. Oh, um, no. 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 I, I just use a normal ruler, that's it. Yeah, just use a normal one, yeah. Or just yeah. use your common sense. If something's wonky, then it's wonky. You know what? I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> yeah, mind. you can tell when someone's used their common sense to do up their house because everything is on the wonk and nothing works and everything's Yeah. Wonk. Yeah, that'll be me. Yeah. Lastly, they put reseal a bath. Mm, do you know what? No, it's not. That's not my cup of tea. So I don't. It's not my cup of tea. This that. is depressing. Yeah. I've just realized how <laughs> useless I am going through this list. I'm absolutely useless. Well, wow. I mean, I you can the, always just say Kinjo, Andrew. We got you. We got you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Exactly. Yeah. And then, secondly, my research has led me to a list of five must have tools that you should have if you want to do some DIY. So, okay. have you got any of these patients? Have you got a cord list drill? No, I don't. We don't. I don't. No, you I, don't. No. I don't either. Um, have you got a circular saw? No. No, have, have you got a jigsaw? Now, I don't mean a puzzle. No, I, I mean don't. the thing to cut the things. Yeah. Up. Yeah. It sounds very like um, macho type of DIY, not like <laughs> it's yeah. like very yeah. masculine. It doesn't sound like something that I would, uh, I would, yeah, no. A nail gun. Have you got a nail gun? No, I don't have a nail. It's a good thing I don't have one because I'd probably hurt myself with it. 
Or you'll just be shooting at people from your window, I can imagine. Oh, my God. Please, I'm not, I am not that kind of person. I'd take that Why back. Patience is not that? a violent person. That was just a joke. And lastly, a palm sander. I'm guessing that's just I have a, no that's idea sanding. what that is. So like a I sanding machine, know. like if you need to sand down oh. a piece of wood to make it all smooth. I always uh, thought those were pretty cool, but no. Yeah, I always thought they looked cool, but yeah, again, I don't have one. So yeah, we are both losers when it comes to the DIY department. <laughs> we have... You know what? I can do di different type of DIY. I can put a mead board together. Let's say like you want to like change your room up or like I, I really love like minimal interior design. So yes. I tend to like plan everyone's room. <laughs> Nice, and then be nice. like, do you like the design? Do you like do you like this one? Let's go. And then I'll find like cheap stuff for you to like on a lower budget. So that kind of DIY I really enjoy because you can go to like a like a vintage furniture shop or like a secondhand furniture shop or even to like IKEA and just like put something together that's very similar to what you want on a lower budget and then get it for you. Like I tend to like I'm really good at doing that. Um Nice. But that's not the kind of DIY that you... Now, I'm actually really good at putting furniture together as well. That's like something I enjoy doing. I would like... So the IKEA like furniture you can put together. Yeah, yeah. That is DIY. That, that is DIY. It should be... Yeah. 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 I mean, it's not a drill or like anything. Like oh, but you've got, you got nuts and bolts and things like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of DIY. I can, I can do a bit of that. But I, again, like everybody else, I never read the instructions and I always seem to have about 10 nuts and bolts left over, which is a bit worrying. But yeah. Like how long does the furniture last? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. I mean, I'll fix something together and then run away from it as fast as I can. Um, <laughs> like it's done. Guys, don't touch it. <laughs> okay. Here's a new chair. Whatever you do, don't sit on it. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. just watch it. <laughs> just watch it. It's just there to look pretty. Yeah. Can you put a shelf up? Yeah, I can. Cool. Well, you're can... you're you're one up on me already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm not sure if I can do that. I've never needed to put a shelf up. Andrew, is that you trying to find what I can and cannot do? So you can be like, "Yep, we're losers together." <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. But um, that was rather unexpected. I didn't think you would say yes to that. That you could put. A shelf yeah, up. I can. Um, can you hmm. put like a picture up on the wall? Yeah, that's like basic. Yes, I can. Don't tell me just, you can't. No, I can because really that is just banging a nail in to the wall. Yeah. Yeah. And but it's the way you do it. It is, yeah. If you can't bang a nail into the wall, then, <laughs> you know, have a word with yourself. Come on. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, so talking about all this DIY, um, you know, and moving on to the app, the good thing is, is that, as I said earlier, there is quite a lot of people offering up their DIY skills um, on the app. So if you do need your house done up, uh, you've got a leaky tap or you know, a block drain or you need some shelves mm -hmm. putting up, then log on to the app and search in your local area for a DIY expert. Yeah. And yeah, get going. Have you got anything to say on, on that, Patience? Um, there's not really much for me to add, but I feel like, you know, it's one of those things, like if you can't be bothered to do something, um, like for example, um, there is a, something you need to put together for a long time, or you need something small fixed, but you don't have the time to do it. You can easily just allocate that to somebody within your neighborhood and just say, Hey, can you help me with this? And then you also, you know, we'll be helping them with their side hustle, but also at the same time taking so much time off your hands mm. and the mental space to think about it. Because, you know, when you don't have something done, it's always on the back of your mind. So we'll give you that little peace of mind for like, maybe even for like five, or depending on what the job is, to whatever amount you see suitable. So you can always put in a request and see if anyone in your neighborhood is free to help you out with that as well. And then another thing I would say is that... um. You know, even things like, let's say, one thing I always find, like, I have to do, I end up doing last minute is, like, taking things to the rec recycle center. Mm. Um, that could be something you can allocate to a neighbor, like, hey, um, I don't know, time to put all this rubbish um, and send it to the recycling center. You could uh, literally pay somebody £10 to just come and pick up the stuff, 
go to the recycling center on the appointment that you booked and just like throw it away really or just maybe they'll just come and be like you know what I'm gonna pay you for it and then they'll pay you for taking those stuff off your hands as well um which is not only good for the environment but also for you as well you're helping somebody you're also keeping the environment safe you contribute to something that that's good for the environment and the economy as well so yeah guys That's try a really, it that's a really good point. You know, for all the IKEA furniture I put together and is immediately ruined, I would just go into the app and say, "Hey, can anyone take this rubbish away?" <laughs> and then they can just shift it to the skip. And uh, yeah, but it's a really good point you mentioned as well. You know, this isn't just for people who cannot do DIY. This is for people who might be really good at DIY, but they simply don't have the time to do it. Um, Mm or or they simply want to treat themselves and get somebody in to do it for them so yeah Mm -hmm. cool so that is diy patience have you found any events coming up that that are worth going to yeah um i think i've already mentioned this one but just in case anyone missed it there is an event called um reggae i think it's called reggae town um and it's yeah it's called reggae land and it's on on the 5th of august until the 6th and it's literally it's the mutual kings at the national ball um 39 pound 50 per person and there's going to be a obviously a lot of food that's going to be nice so if you're a foodie and you're looking to like have a good time be outside but also enjoy um eating something nice it's it's a really good place for that and the lineup for it is going to be we're going to have Sean, Sean Paul um Vinnie Man, Mr Vegas um the entire like um <clears throat> not the entire but some of the biggest names in in Rega and Yes, they're going to be there, and I've never seen Sean Paul in person. You know, I think that'll be interesting to see him. But if anyone's interested, that's on the 5th to, until the 6th of August. Um, I, used to, I used to live next door to Sean Paul, actually, in South London. Did you? Yeah, he Andrew, used... you can't lie. Like, people are listening to this. <laughs> all right, that was a complete lie. I was going to say that he used to knock on my door all the time to borrow sugar and never gave it back. But no, it was a complete lie. <laughs> Patience knows me too well now, so yeah. Um, carry on. Sorry. <laughs> How are you gonna say who's to borrow sugar? Like, come on. <laughs> it would be the other way around. If Sean Paul lived next door to me, I'd be knocking on his door all the time. I think to borrow sugar. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be like, "Why does it never have sugar? What's going on?" Sean Paul, just buy some sugar, would ya? For God's sake, it's really rich. It's a Tesco's opposite. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. There is that one that's happening. And then another event that's happening in here that I think everyone will be interested in. So there is a, I don't know if you'll be interested in this one, but there's a bot party um on the 29th of July this month until the 30th at the Blackfriars Pier in London from 7 p.m. until 12 a.m. And the standard ticket is like £33.25. Um, and then if you want VIP, it's like forty-four pound twenty-five, which honestly, like, it doesn't seem like much to pay. Mm. And it's gonna give you like, yeah, it's more like a, a night event. I think it's like from seven p.m. until twelve, which I think it's more like do you know when you go into a board party, like they kind of do some things like that in Paris, like where you go on a board party during like six ish. And then you get to watch the sunset whilst you're like enjoying the music and the food. Oh no! And it's just like random people around, and you just the bot like just goes around the city for like four or five hours, and then you get off. And then some people tend to go to like a club after that or yeah. go home. <laughs> um, depending on their age, I should imagine. Yeah, I think my age, I would be. I'll probably be just like I'll probably go to another club and then like go home like around two or one because after some time you just want to go home and relax. I'll be going straight home. 
it's like um when people text me now and say um hey do you want to meet up this weekend and i say yeah and they they i say what time and they say uh, yeah we're going about about 9 p.m like 9 p.m you want to meet up at 9 p.m <laughs> flipping else too yeah yeah you know what you know when you're like this is like being an adult now like just it is but then again like it's not a very high king of you to do that is it Oh, are you saying that because I work for High Kinjo, I need to go out more? <laughs> you need to represent the brand out there. You can't. You can't oh, just go. Home. You need to be social as well. I'll just hide away. Okay, next time I'll be the last man standing. I was going to say this week we haven't mentioned this yet, but the um, women's uh, FIFA World Cup is starting mm -hmm. this week, and it oh, begins. That's Yeah, and it begins on Thursday the 20th of July, which just so happens to be my birthday, and uh, runs through all the way until August, August the 20th, in fact. So yeah, for a whole month. And I really enjoyed the last one. It was fantastic. But yeah, we did really well. We've got a great team. And the first match, first couple of matches played on Thursday are New Zealand and Norway and Australia mm -hmm. and the Republic of Ireland. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I'm looking um, forward to Nigeria and Canada on the 21st. Ah, uh, yes, they are playing it on the 21st. Uh, mm -hmm. Exactly. So Nigeria and Canada. Looking forward to all of these. So England's first game is on Saturday, 22nd of July. And it's England mm -hmm. and Haiti. Ha Haiti. Haiti. <laughs> Haiti. I think it's Haiti or Haiti. Yeah, it's one of those. You know which country we're talking about, people. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's those guys. So, yeah, it's a very exciting month coming up. And... And the reason I'm mentioning this is uh, naturally a lot of a lot of the bars and sports pubs and clubs will be playing these matches on big screens. Um, so yeah, get involved, you know. And the great the great thing about that is that you can just turn up to one of these places by yourself, and you'll soon meet some people that are also into uh, football and who are rooting for uh, different countries. So it's a great way to meet new people, and it's a great way to meet people from um, different communities and countries as well. Yeah, and if anyone is interested in, like, going together um, and just, like, have a, like, just watch watch a match and have a drink, um, please feel free to, like, hit us up or, like, make a post on Hiking Your I will be joining every week. So, yeah, oh, nice. look forward to it. And is that in your local area, Patience? Um, wherever, really. I can do up to, like, wherever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. And if anyone in particular is from Haiti or ha Haiti and you want to watch the match with us, you know, w when we play you guys on the 22nd, get in touch on the app and it'll be quite mm -hmm. fun. Uh, it'll be quite fun uh, to, to watch together. Um, but, yeah, lots of great fixtures coming up. We have France and Jamaica on the 23rd. Netherlands mm -hmm. and Portugal on the 23rd as well. Italy and Argentina on the 24th. And and you're going to be rooting for Nigeria. Are you patient throughout all of this? No, not, not just Nigeria, but like because it's like Women's Football League, I'm going to be rooting for every team. It sounds very unloyal, but yeah. if I have to pick one, I'll probably pick South Africa. Who, sorry? South Africa? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe we should do a bit of a, a pool. And mm, should we? Obviously, let's put England aside. If you pick <laughs> South Africa, uh, I am going to pick... Da, 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 da. I'm going to go for the Netherlands. Okay, that's a good one. I was expecting to pick Portugal. I was like, hmm. Ah. No, I'm going to go for the Netherlands. So, okay. yeah, let's let's see how we do. Whoever gets the furthest... Has to do the other one's uh, house up DIY. Okay. DIY, yeah? Sure. Okay. We'll record it. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, cheers, guys. Um, that's that's some events that are coming up over the next week, and we hope you enjoyed this podcast. And again, I'll repeat this: if you do need anyone to do some DIY, uh, um, in your place, then get onto the app and have a look for DIY experts in your local area. And if you are brilliant at DIY and want to promote your services as a DIY expert to earn a bit of money, then do the same. It's free to advertise your services. So download the app today and uh, get going. And thank you very much to Patience um, for joining me. Anytime. Oh, I wanted to add something as well. Like 
Um, so towards the end of July, we are going to plan an event where we are going to go and watch the game in person. So we'll announce the date in, in the app and our socials. Um, so feel free to RSVP and we'd love to meet you guys in person. Fantastic. And when you say towards the end of the month, do you mean like the England games or any games in particular? Um, we're still need, we're still deciding. So we've Yeah. got Germany versus Colombia, and we've Yep. got a South South Korea, Morocco, Panama, and Jamaica, Yep. France, Brazil. We've got a lot of choices actually. So You have, yeah. we decide, and then one of the weekends we can go watch on one of them. Fantastic. And um, I've just seen the times of some of these. Some of these are really early. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. they really are. I'm not getting up Maybe at the afternoon 6 a.m. one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We're talking about the afternoon games only because Yeah. we're not meeting up at six a.m. in the morning. And <laughs> no. yeah. cool. Well, yeah. Keep keep an eye on the app for um those events then, and we'll all get meeting up and have a great time. Amazing. All right. All right. Cheers, patience. See you next time. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.